Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel, welcome to Laruan ni Obi-Wan. From the new Disney Pixar Lightyear movie, we have the Blast and Battle XL-15. So for those of you who are interested in getting just one merchandise for the Lightyear movie, I think this is going to be on top of your list. So ju uh, just um, considering that you are a really big fan of the Toy Story, then I guess this is going to be the only purchase that you're going to make out of the whole merchandise that they're going to put out for this light year um, action uh, for this light year movie. Okay, so for those of you who are interested in knowing the dimensions of this package uh, of this uh, toy in boxed form. So from point to point, that is 18 inches. From top to bottom, that is going to be 13 inches. Some assembly is going to be required for this set, but I think that we are going to be really happy with this purchase because we already have this figure on board. I already actually reviewed that. Now, just looking at these two figures, there is a little bit of difference in paint uh, scheme but with regards to completeness I think this is a more complete figure but with regards to articulation I think they're going to be just same uh, shared they would share the same articulation points but I would uh, love to have that flight set and this figure also the one in packaging also comes with a dome so really fine set for $44 so let's discover if it is worth our purchase so you've taken the tray out of the box and you're trying to figure out how to get the vehicle out of the package material actually it is just easy uh, flip the uh, packaged material over and look for this toggle actually what you're just going to do would be to actually just rotate so this is from the back side so just rotate and as you could see it's going to free the vehicle from the rest of the packaging material no need to really figure out how to take the excel-15 out of that cardboard box because all you need to do is to flip this switch at the back and your vehicle is going to be free of packaging material so just a tip or advice so as not to ruin your $44 purchase okay so before we discuss the XL-15 and the gimmicks associated with the vehicle set first let us compare two figures so for the accessories they're going to have different accessories the bus light here that comes with the XL-15 would have this the dome but no crystal and no pistol while the single carded figure would have the crystal the dome and the pistol so in my first review this is something that i missed so i missed the hole that was there which this pistol would peg on to that way but as you could see that is just a pistol that is way too big for the figure it is not in proportion so actually if you have any of the mcfarlane halo action figures which comes with pistols that have pegs so actually just use one of the pegs and the pistols that are associated with those halo figures and there you go you have a more streamlined and proportioned weapon for Buzz Lightyear. So I'm going to do the same thing with this 
other buzz light here because this too has a peg hole on the right side now for differences in paint scheme as you could see let's take the domes out and the flight packs out and the crystal okay so for the single carded release which is this figure as you could see the most visible differences would be the green on the shins of the figure the single carded would have a green over here while the uh, one with the vehicle set with the XL15 is white and as for the belt area as you could see there is also a difference in the tone of green that was used the single carded would be a lighter green um, but for the XL-15 figure it's going to be really dark green and take a notice on the gloves too because this is going to be uh, thickly painted compared to this one which is just lightly painted and for the hole as you could see and how Mattel painted these two figures really differently so half a belt while this other one has a whole belt painted okay so the other visible differences in paint job also would also be on the body so as for these areas over here that is gray while we have white and green tones for the single carded version now if you already have this two or actually you want a more accurate buzz light here i guess this is going to be a more suitable pilot for the other one or you could uh, go a different way if you want a more accurate buzz light here one goes to the cockpit this is going to be assigned to the cockpit just with the dome and possibly a pistol while this one would be my defining Buzz Lightyear action figure with the flight set, the dome, the pistol. Because uh, comparatively speaking, this is a more nicely painted figure compared to this one. Actually, they're okay. But with regards to um, the association with the Toy Story, um, somehow I like this one better. And as you could see, we have the um, uh, patch on the left side. It's not available on this figure. But for the single carded figure, you have that Space Ranger patch. So, really depends on how you want to assign your uh, Buzz Lightyear action figures this time especially for me right now that I have to decide which one goes into the cockpit or stays in the cockpit while the other I could play with a flight pack anyway so that is uh, uh, the differences between these two action figures I'll just make a quick detour back to the Buzz Lightyear action figure so because of these backpacks so let's treat it as a separate review that associated with the XL-15 so this backpack or flight pack does not have the wing fall down function so that is not going to be the gimmick of this flight pack so that is not available so it's going to be just fall to the side or to the back this way and it's going to possibly rotate this way as you position the buzz light here and to the cockpit of the XL-15 okay now we have the XL-15 on the review table this is a really big vehicle 
so it reminds me of the G.I. Joe vehicles and play sets and the Star Wars um, play sets or vehicle sets that we had in the 80s or the 90s especially the mask action uh, action figure line okay so for uh, dimensions this is going to be a 20 inch vehicle in length with a height so the highest point of this vehicle from this side is going to be from the fin so that's going to be six inches and as for the wingspan that is going to be about uh, something around 14.5 inches of course the wingspan is shaped uh, or angled differently so instead of a straight wing we have something like a Star Wars um, fighter wing so it's going to be sloped downwards okay so that is the back of the vehicle so we have quite a view of the top and this is where the $44 price tag comes into play because look at the landing gears so actually they are just plain which really this is the thing that really dampens the overall impact of this um, aircraft but when you fold those landing gears in now that changes everything so it is better displayed with possibly something to hold onto a flight post like this instead of having those really um, cheap looking landing gear so the wheels are just those, this landing gear is just one molded piece the wheel is a molded piece onto the vehicle but of course if you want to breathe life to these landing gears you have to paint those tires and the details on the landing gear um, uh, set so this is you're going to have three landing gears to paint because actually they really look the same really really plain but as for gimmick this is the gimmick that this um, aircraft has so actually just pull on the tab back tab over here so yeah this thing so just pull on that without any of the uh, any of the two figures on board so that is the gimmick so you attach the figure any of the two figures on this retaining device or waist retaining device and actually it is just easy to push everything back in and close the canopy as for the weapon systems we have actually um, four um, missile pads so we have two firing missile pads just under the wingtips so left and right and just be careful not to look at those the firing mechanism would be on the wing so this so if you want to fire the missile there it goes so actually it just knocked one of my action figures in my display shelf so i have to nurse him and back to health anyway so if you want spare missiles just tag on or store the missiles on this side or the wing tips so just follow the um the mold of how to store this um these missile pads actually just by looking at the space inside and just follow the mold how you're going to 
fit it in so actually there's a guide system over there okay so it's nicely mated back to the plane so actually the by this system it looks like um antennas of some sort so we have another missile system over here on the other side so same mechanism this is the firing mechanism for that remaining missile so as to the paint job on this um, aircraft we only have actually uh, three so we have gray we have blue and of course white so we have the markings for the aircraft xl15 the i think this is the sr or the space ranger academy or space ranger institute or whatever you will just see in the movie but the paint on this aircraft is just nice and clean so actually the landing gears are just the things that make this vehicle set uh, look cheap but in entirety it is a nice looking set just uh, feels like the 80s toys we had or 80s or 90s toys vehicles uh, that are associated with figures to fit the figure inside the vehicle you have first to engage the waistline with the waist retention system so this one so snap it in first before you attach it to the pegs and then attach everything the flight pack and the dome now as for the accessories uh, just take out the pistol if you have any pistol attached to the right side of buzz light here and fold the arms in a certain way as to not hinder the movement of or the flow of the figure coming in or out of the vehicle as you move this lever back and forth okay so to secure buzz light here into the cockpit so fold the wings this way and as you could see the lever is really protruded out so this you have to push back in so just situate the wings in a certain way as to guide the flow of the wings on these two ridges okay so let's do it once again so just fold it back of course these two wings are on spring tension so just gingerly place them back in or you could possibly just guide it with your hands that way and really slam this forward for a secure fit as you could see now buzz light here is nicely situated in that cockpit so um, press the figure back as much as you could to provide clearance for the canopy because um, you would discover that uh, because of the dome of the suit it's going to hit this part over here so you're going to have a hard time engaging the a point of the canopy to the vehicle set so you have to really situate that buzz light here a certain way and then try to close the canopy in and there you go so this is how buzz light here looks in there so really really nice i really like the gimmick so let's um, simulate a, a vehicle malfunction or um, we have some uh, engine trouble on this xl-15 and buzz light here has to bail out of the vehicle so 
in 4, 3, 2, 1 okay there you go and to infinity and beyond so let's secure the figure once again back to the vehicle so fold those wing tips guide it guide it nice and once you've guided those wings to those ridges to ridges slam that lever forward nice and shut and push the figure in so to provide clearance for this thing and engage so there you go actually it's really nice simple and the flow is really easy and i really like that gimmick actually so i think of really um keeping this in my collection so something that i really enjoy so these figures and something that i could pass possibly to my kids so i think they're going to enjoy this too okay so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and i hope that you find this vehicle set in your local targets or walmart okay actually i found this at my local target and it was just one unit so i hope by the time that you hunt for this vehicle set it's going to be available in mass supply so good luck to you my fellow collectors and i hope you enjoy this video and once again reminding you to like comment and subscribe